Other news tonight, an ex-Marine and Oklahoma militiaman sparks a nationwide manhunt. Law enforcement leaders say they're afraid he is heavily armed and will do something drastic. News 9's Dana Hurtnicki joins us live with the latest. Dana? Kelly and Amanda, the Stevens County Sheriff says Charles Dyer didn't show up for court this morning on charges he raped a seven-year-old family member, and that spurred the manhunt. But Dyer's family says he is a constitutional constitutional patriot that's been hounded by the government and is now left with few options. Online, Charles Dyer is known as July 4th Patriot. Thousands view his videos and anti-government messages. They're already desperate to keep us from fighting back. In the past, the Stevens County Sheriff says Dyer and his followers have threatened him and other law enforcement, and it's that history that has him concerned. Desperate people do desperate things. Dyer's home burned to the ground on Friday. An acquaintance has been arrested for arson. The sheriff says Dyer's firearms were taken from the property before the fire. We're sure that he's going to be armed, and I don't think there's any doubt about that. I do not believe he's dangerous unless he's shoved up in a corner. But Dyer's family says he is innocent and gave us this three-page email Dyer sent to his attorney just after midnight Monday. Dyer writes, at every turn, my family and I have been threatened and bullied by both the state and federal governments. He goes on to say, I never had any intention of harming another human life and will still do all that I can to keep from it. But I also feel I have a God-given right to protect myself and my family. Dyer's family, however, says they just want what the sheriff does. I want it to end peacefully. If you see this, Charlie, we, we want you to come home. You need to come home and finish the case. Dyer ends his email by telling his family if they do not hear from him within 90 days, he is dead. We have posted the entire email online at news9.com. Amanda. All right, Dana. And if you happen to know anything about Charles Dyer's whereabouts, you're asked to call police immediately.